So our goal right here is to get all the negative exponents to be positive. So you can see right here I have x to the negative fifth power. I need that negative 5 to be positive, right? And right here I have 5 to the negative 3. I need that negative 3 to be positive. And this negative 10 exponent, I need it to be positive. Now let's remind ourselves what it takes to make an exponent positive. This exponent right here, x to the negative 5, is negative. But if I take it and I move it to the bottom of the fraction, what will that do to it? It'll make the exponent positive, right? So I'm not going to move the 13 because its exponent's positive. What is y to the 0 power? 1, good. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Now, this 5 to the negative 3 on bottom, we're going to move to the top. And when we move it to the top, it changes from 5 to the negative 3 to become 5 to the what? Positive 3, good. And then this z to the negative 10 that's on bottom, I need to move to the top, which will make its exponent positive. So that will be times z to the positive 10, right? Now, let's think about what's on bottom. Both of these things that were on bottom, this and this, I moved from bottom to top, didn't I? Okay. I'm going to move this x to the negative 5 down here to the bottom. So I'm going to write x, but it won't be to the negative 5th power anymore. It'll be to the positive 5th power, won't it? Okay. Now, are all the exponents in what I have left positive? Are all these exponents positive? Yes. They are. So now we're going to simplify. Use your calculator to tell you what 5 cubed is. It's 5 times 5 times 5, which I think is 125. Okay, and so I've got 13 times 1 times 135, I mean 125 times z to the 10th, right? And that's all over x to the 5th, correct? And now what we need to do is we need to multiply 13 times 1 times 125, and you tell me what that is. And so you've got 1,625 z to the 10th power over x to the 5th power, and that's your final answer right there.